Welcome to an example of determining the measure of angles using the properties of parallel lines. Looking at this diagram, we want to be able to determine the measure of angles one through angle nine. Notice that we have two sets of parallel lines. If we call this line L and call this line M, those two lines are parallel. If we call this line P and this line Q, those two lines are parallel. So let's go ahead and just go through this diagram and see which angles we can determine the measure of the easiest. Notice that angle four and the angle here marked 78 degrees are corresponding angles and we know corresponding angles are congruent when we have two parallel lines cut by a transversal. So this is 78 degrees. Notice that angle 78 and angle eight form a linear pair and therefore they're supplementary, so angle eight must be 102 degrees. Next, angle eight and angle seven are corresponding angles, so angle seven is also 102 degrees. And this angle here of 78 degrees and angle one form a linear pair, which are also supplementary, so angle one is 102 degrees. Now let's take a look at the parallel lines L and M that are cut by transversal Q. Angle eight and these two angles here would be same side interior angles, which must be supplementary. So 102 plus 22 plus nine must equal 180 degrees. So 180 minus 102 minus 22 would give us the measure of angle nine. This is gonna be 56 degrees. Well, this angle here and this angle here are vertical angles and therefore congruent. So this angle here would be 56 degrees plus 22 degrees. That's gonna be 78 degrees. So angle six is 78 degrees. Let's see what else we have. Taking a look at angle two, and angle seven, those are same side or consecutive interior angles, which again must be supplementary. So if this is 102 degrees, angle two must be 78 degrees. And then angle two and angle three form a linear pair. So this would be 102 degrees. And do we have anything left? Let's see, we have everything except angle five. One way to determine the measure of angle five would be to take a look at this triangle here. Remember the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So this angle here is 102 degrees, this angle here is 56 degrees. That's a total of 158 degrees. Well, 180 degrees minus 158 degrees will leave us with 22 degrees for the measure of angle five. And now I think we have everything. Let's go ahead and record it. Angle one was 102 degrees. Angle two was 78 degrees. Angle three was 102 degrees. Angle four was 78 degrees. Five was 22 degrees. Angle six, 78 degrees. Angle seven, 102 degrees. Where is number eight? And the measure of angle eight was 102 as well, and the measure of angle nine was 56 degrees. I always think these types of problems are fun because it's like a puzzle that you have to solve based upon new information that you've learned. I hope you found this helpful.